and welcome to my new favorite part of my house and favorite thing that I've ever owned. So we have been doing a big renovation in our house and converting what was actually Cody's old office into a functional closet space slash studio space for me and us to be able to shoot video and have some extra storage for the clothes that were absolutely overflowing out of my small closet. So today I'm doing a full tour for you of this entire space and I cannot wait to show you everything. Everything I'm talking about is going to be linked in the video description below. So if you are on mobile, you're going to scroll down, go to the far right side, click that little tiny triangle, and it will bring a drop down menu with all of those items in there. You can click on them anytime that you see something you like and it will take you directly to that item. Alrighty, let's get started. So Tucker's down here, he is really loving this new rug as well, but first I'm going to talk about the build outs themselves and then I'll show you a little bit more of some of the organization things that I did. So this is two different build outs that came as their own little kit. So these are not actually shelves built into the walls, although it kind of looks that way. It's this one big kit that Cody actually built 100% himself, and I'm very impressed. He did not even ask for my help pretty much the entire time, so big props to Cody, he's the best ever. But this is the bigger one. This one I think is 108 inches, is that right? 108 inches, and it is huge, and it's wonderful. So this comes in a couple of other sizes too. You can buy them with the corner, so I will link that one too if you want like a full corner. Um, of the same structure, but this one just starts here and obviously goes all the way to that end. But this one is also perfectly customizable, so you can do racks. We did two, three racks and then two rows of shelves. If you like more rack space, you can do them all rack or you can do them all shelves or mix and match however you want to. So if you need some extra closet storage or something within your closet, maybe if you have a really big one for some extra organization, this is fantastic. And I'm so excited to have this and be able to utilize it. So we utilized these racks and I color coordinated them because I'm a little bit type A when it comes to organizing my closet. And I wanted this one to look really pretty since we're going to be using it for filming. So I did blacks, browns, tans, and then all my pink shoes, all my tan shoes, all my leopard shoes. Yes, I have a leopard problem and then darker brown. And something really cool about this little area, I think this is actually my favorite spot in the entire little closet space. So Cody has also installed some little puck lights under here. So I'll show you, these are remote control. And these are gonna shine directly on the shoes and kind of make it look very like department store-ish, which is something I was real pumped about. So check this out. I mean, come on. Oh, and also it's on. There we go. <laughs> these are on their own dimmer too. So you can dim them. So a closer look at the little remote. You can dim them to 20%, I think 10% up to 100% if you want to, but these are on 100%. And it just makes it look really professional, really nice, and it's also really fun when the lights are off and then you come in and you have just these on and it's like, oh, ah, it's really fabulous. So I'm super excited about the, these. This is $15. These are $15 for a pack of six too, so really affordable. And these would also work in your closet for anything. Like if you want them on your shelves in your closet, if you want them over your hanging racks, if those are hard to see, in a coat closet, something like that. I think they'd be really functional in there too. And I like that they're remote control so you don't have to worry about finding the light and pushing a switch or anything like that. And we're also, we have ordered, they just haven't come in yet. Extra ones, we have two per shelf and we're gonna put those on these shelves and then on the other shelves as well. So eventually that will all be all lit up and it's gonna make me real happy. 
So for this section, I wanted to style this super simply. Obviously, if you were using this just for functional storage, you could put all kinds of sweaters or shoes or whatever else in here, but I am kind of wanted this to look a little bit minimalistic or very stylized. So I just put a few bags that were neutral up here and a few of my favorite hats. So you know I am a fedora girl, so I have a lot of these and did not have a good functional space for these in my closet. They were always just flying everywhere and I didn't have a big, I don't have any wall space in my other closet so I couldn't like tack them onto the wall or anything like that. So I was really excited about this to have them where they're gonna look nice still and not be crunched and smashed at the bottom of my closet. And I just like displaying them so that I can see what all I have. So I'm link I will link a couple of these things for you. I'll link a couple hats and this bag I know is still in stock. This is one of my favorite little spring and summer bags. It's just a little like crossbody rattan bag or straw. So I'll link this one down there for you too in the video description and anything else that's still in stock. Some of this stuff, this is all my like real stuff that I use all the time. So some of it I've had for a long time and isn't still in stock, but I'll link what is. Then one of my favorite parts of this little section are these drawers are amazing. These things are so stinking deep. This is like seven pairs of shorts deep in here and I still have tons of room at the top to go. So I had these denim shorts in another drawer in my dresser in my room and they were always crunched up, super wrinkled, couldn't open that drawer, <laughs> they were so full. So I feel like now I have a much more functional space for these. So shorts in that one. And then I put all of my scarves and beanies in this one. This is another thing that I had a lot of trouble finding a storage solution for. They're just so bulky and I like big, thick winter scarves when I'm doing scarves and these just took up a ton of space in my closet and no matter how I tried to fit them in, they never really fit that well. So having this drawer, they're so deep that these don't even touch the top. Like it's perfect for this type of um, scarf. So there's like 11 of these in here, I think. And then I have like 11 different beanies. So these, this is pretty deep too. Fit all my beanies in there really nicely. And then I also fit in, you're gonna be shocked. I was shocked. Every single pair of jeans that I own in here. So I didn't also, I had these at the top of my closet folded kind of like that, but every time I would go to pull one down, they would all fall on top of me and I was not great about picking them up after that point. So they kind of just been in a heap at the floor of my closet for quite a while and it was a disaster zone. So I was really pumped. I did not count how many there are. I might be embarrassed to admit how many pairs of jeans I own, but I know that they all fit in here with room to grow too. So really great storage and functionality for extra space for some of your bulkier items in these drawers too. Okay, let's talk about this build out next. So this one obviously starts at that end and then actually goes all the way into the wall. So this one's a little bit different. Tucker's like right my way. Um, this one's a little bit different, but this one screws all the way down into that wall and then we just kind of butted this one up against it. So you actually have even more storage space in this one than I'm utilizing. And I kept my racks fairly sparse because I was wanting them to all be color coordinated and to look nice and to be really easy to find things when I'm filming and doing a video. So you could definitely scrunch all these together and fit a ton of clothing items on both sides of this rack. So two, two racks here, and then this one also has the only taller rack in the whole wardrobe space. So I'm utilizing that for outerwear because our coat closet is absolutely overflowing and I guess I started collecting coats at some point, I don't know, but I have way too many and it was getting taken over. So I put some of my nicest favorite coats and also the neutral ones on this and it's nice and long for that. Or you could also store dresses or if you have like your wedding dress or a prom dress or anything like that, this would be a great storage for those items as well because it's nice and long and everything is gonna look really pretty. So I also love that this has these angled shoe racks on it 
And really, I probably could have smushed these together and fit four pair in there. But, or you could also stack them if you're really just going for storage functionality. But I wanted them to look really nice. So I've got three different pairs of boots on those. Love how that looks and love having a space for like these really bulkier coats that they're not taking up all of the coat closet. And then this has its own set of shelves and drawers. These are customizable as well. So this actually came with one more shelf that you could have four slots for. I wanted these to be a little bit taller so that I could use them for like these jewelry organizers and things like that, some bags. But if you wanted them more narrow, you could do that too. But let's talk about these little organizers because I had way too much fun organizing all my stuff and color coordinating it and all of that. But first of all, this is so cute. I think this is very affordable. I think it's like $14 or $15 little headband organizer. And this is something that I just didn't have a good solution for. So I had all these headbands in the bottom of my like bathroom cabinet and they were always just everywhere. Stuff would get spilled on them because they were just down in the bottom of the bathroom. So now I can see what all I have, which is really a trick to being organized in general is being able to see everything that you have and then actually utilize those things. I think you end up saving money that way instead of buying the same stuff that you already owned but you forgot about. So I love having them on here and this one has a little spot that comes off too, or the little top comes off. And you can utilize this part for like bobby pins, hair ties, I just have a scrunchie in there for now. Um, scrunchies, anything like that, those little pearl like hair clips or anything like that you can stick in there and it's a little functional space too. And then even if it's not like the prettiest things in here, you could cover them up with the headbands and um, it'd be totally functional for that too. Okay, now let's look at this beautiful jewelry organizer. I love it. This is all clear in any of the organizers that I'm going to be doing on these. And I may switch this up a little eventually. I'm always going to pick this clear because I think it looks really nice. It's versatile and you can switch out what's in there and kind of totally change up the look of it too. So I mostly put in just my basics in here. So gold, silver, and white basically. Um, if you wanted to make this like all pink, you could do that. Or um, I also think it's functional, not just for looks too. <laughs> but I like look the look of this if you just put this on like a bathroom counter or a vanity or something like that. Same with this one. And this is only $29. So this has little spots for necklaces that you can hang on both sides. And then they don't get tangled because that's a real bummer when all your necklaces are unwearable. And then it has a bunch of these little drawers. And these are pretty decent size too. You can fit definitely more jewelry in there than I have. Like I said, I was doing this for both functionality but also for show. <laughs> and so I didn't just like stuff these all the way full. But if you wanted to do that just for jewelry storage you totally could but i like these for earrings and then your earrings you don't have to worry about like some of the ones that are on that like little wire or whatever that you have to take the earring back on and then put the earring on and then put the earring back on i don't know if that even made sense but it's like really complicated and i found myself just not even wanting to wear earrings so i like them being in these little drawers you just pull them out really easy and saves you a little bit of time in the mornings so mostly I have just like earrings and bracelets, I think, in these drawers. But I will link a couple of these little jewelry items. I'll link my Victoria Emerson wrap bracelets. These are my favorite wrap bracelets. They go with everything and it makes it look like you have a lot of bracelets on, but you really only have one. So I wear these pretty much every day in some form or variation of those. I have quite a few. <clears throat> and then little beaded earrings and some more bracelets. So I kind of kept this all similar color palette, but I think it looks really pretty displayed. And um, let's check in in these drawers because this was maybe my favorite part other than the shoes that light up. <laughs> so how fabulous is this? Something about seeing an organized space just makes me, makes my heart sing a little bit, but I did not have a good storage solution for belts either. So this was actually a pack that came with this one, this one, and then these two down here. So it was a pack of four. And they were advertised as underwear and bra storage, but 
I, A, didn't want to have to show you guys my underwear and bras. That felt weird. B, this is actually quite far from my bedroom, so we're re utilizing this space as an office space, studio space, and storage space. So I didn't want to have to walk all the way back here every time I got out of the shower and needed a pair of underwear. So I'm using that for belts, so it's perfect for that. I just kind of rolled them up in there and stuck them in, and I have two blank spots for any other belts I might get. Didn't own a lot of belts, apparently, but... Um, <clears throat> I think this is perfect as opposed to, I used to like tack a nail up on my closet wall and try to hang them, but these are kind of thicker buckles and so they would always fall off of that. So once again, I can see what I have and it makes me happy. And then I think this one was intended for underwear, which would be perfect for that. If you need some place to like organize your underwear and bras, these would be perfect for that too. Since I didn't want to do that, I utilize them for workout tanks. Since these are pretty um, small or thin, kind of thinner material, they were really easy to just fold up inside of there. So I'll show you. I kind of just folded them a couple times and then rolled them and then stuck them in there. This makes me feel very Marie Kondo. I don't know if anyone was watching that. What is that show called? Uh, I don't Tidying know. up. Tidying up. That's it. <laughs> But it kind of makes me feel like I'm Marie Kondo, and that makes me happy. So I just use those for all my workout tanks, um, which I didn't necessarily want hanging in my closet, but I didn't have the drawer, drawer space for in my dresser either. And then my very, very fave, I use the other two for swimwear. <laughs> I have a swimsuit addiction. It's been a problem since I was literally a toddler and used to, there are home videos of me as a three-year-old circling swimwear in the big like JC Penney catalog that we used to get. And my mom would be like, what are you doing? Like, Looking at the bikinis. I don't know. I just like them. So I don't even swim that much, but I love swimsuits. So another thing that was hard and always felt like wasn't very organized in my drawers. So they fit so perfectly in here. So I did one pieces on this side two pieces on this side and just did like top bottom, top bottom, and then the one piece is in here. And they all fit in there really well. So I'll show you. I mean, these are just a regular one piece that I was able to fold into there, which by the way, this is amazing. If you're looking for a one piece, I will link this one. It's under $30 Amazon find. Most flattering swimsuit that I own and is very affordable. So I don't know if anyone is shopping for swimwear yet in January, but I'll put it there for you if you are, if you have vacations. So then I just kind of tuck those in there. And then all your swimsuits are organized. So these are really affordable. I think the four pack is like 15-ish dollars. Um, don't quote me on that. I'll put the price up um, whenever we're editing, but really good price and I love those being organized, so. One last quick note about the rug that's in here. This is a very affordable, I wanna say it's like 100 ish dollars, 100 to 150 rug, and it's huge. This is six by nine, so it basically covers the entire room, which is exactly what we wanted. I love the neutral colors in this, and it's an Amazon Prime find as well. And then eventually, I'll show you when we do this, but we're gonna put a little table in here and a couple of chairs so that I can utilize this as a office or like workspace as well, so. Thank you so much for joining me on our little closet tour. I hope that this has been fun for you. This has been such a dream of mine to have a space like this in my home and has been a long time in the making. So we cannot wait to utilize this for our filming so you'll be seeing more of it. Let me know which part was your favorite and I will see you next time.